Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited to announce that the new version 2.6 of my dot files is now available for you. Before we go into the details, I want to say thank you. Thanks for all your support, for your ideas for new features and especially for testing. That's why the new version 2.6 is much more stable and robust than previous versions and an update is highly recommended. The highlight is the new setting script. This script will definitely become a key component of my dot files. With this new feature, you can switch, you can change between hyperlink configuration variations on the fly. For example, to increase the border size, the roundings of a window or the transparency. The great thing is that you can extend the existing variations with your own custom variations to create your own personal hyperlink experience. Another new feature is the black and white theme of Waybar. And with these new themes, you give the overall hyperlink experience a high quality look and feel. But for me, the most important thing is that you can install my dot files as easy as possible. That's why I have invested the most of the time into the new installer script. With the new library gum, I have also improved the overall user interface with the installer script. And now it's much easier to use. You can find my dot files ready to download on my GitLab repository. I have also updated the README, the introduction of the repository with more hopefully helpful information to make the installation for you as easy as possible. The last section of the video will show you how you can install the dot files with the new scripts, but also how to update an existing dot files installation with the new version 2.6. With that, let's jump in. Welcome to the Hyperland desktop with my dot files 2.6. On the first view, it looks very similar to the last versions, right? So no big changes, but I will change this now. First, I will click here on the three dots and open the Waybar theme switcher. And here are new themes now available. For example, the white theme. Yeah, so now we have a super light white based theme. And there is also a black theme. Super dark black theme. And as always, you can use the themes also with a blurred background. Not visible with that wallpaper, but with Super Shift W, you see now that there is the blur in the background. And I can again switch to white with blur white. And as always, there is also a button version available. Button white. Now you see the menu is at the bottom. Let's move it back to the top. Let's change to black. Okay, now we have the black theme for Waybar and I change to another wallpaper again. Yeah, let's take this one. Okay, the dot file 2.6 includes now a settings application, a settings script where you can change window behavior and the window layout on the fly. You can access here the settings with the new icon with that wheel icon. The first one what we want to change is we select Windows and I select the variation no border.conf and the border of the windows is gone. I can also switch to no border more gaps and now we have more gaps. With escape you can jump back to the main menu of settings and you can open here decorations. I will choose now rounding more blur. And now we have 
a higher blur settings. I can also switch to no rounding. And now the rounding corners of the windows are disabled and we have edges. But I can also say rounding all blur, no shadows. And now we have a blur, but no shadows anymore. Let's switch back to more blur. And the shadows are back when I open a new terminal. You see the animations relatively slow, but I can change that by selecting an animation variation. For example, the new variation fast for animations. Okay, let's try it again. You see it? Much faster. And all the switch between the workspaces is now much faster. Back to default. Now it's a bit slower. See it? I can also activate the animation high variation. And now we have a bit more effects. Yeah, you see how the windows are coming in. And let's decrease, let's decrease the gaps again. So no border conf. And we are back with less gaps. Now we can close the settings, close some of the terminals, change the wallpaper again, switch to the floating mode, open another terminal, again to the floating mode, open the browser with super key B, back to floating mode. Yeah, and I think this new dark look and feel without borders around the windows looks very modern, very nice. Let's change the wallpaper again. Switch again. It is also very cool wallpaper. Yeah, fast animations. And let's change again the waybar theme to black, but with blur. I really like that desktop. Let's create an own custom variation of a styling of a hyperland window. To do this, I open code and I open the folder dot files in my home directory. I open the folder hyper, the folder conf, and then the folder decorations. And a good starting point is to copy the default conf. Let's do this. Copy, paste, and give this variation a name. I name it custom variation. And now you can start editing. For this example, I will increase the rounding size to 20. I will disable the drop shadow and the active opacity. I will decrease it to 0 0.8 and the inactive opacity to 0 0.6. And now I can save it. When I now open the settings of Hyperland and open decorations, you see here the custom variation. When I activate it, you see I have now here a border size of 20 and an own custom blur effect for active and inactive windows. Another good idea for an own variation is of course set up a monitor. The default is the setting that is used when you install my dot files, if not already a custom variation exists. But you see here, you can also define an own variation, in that case, uh, 9020 to 1080, or for my working screen, a higher resolution and a frequency rate. And of course, you can also here create a multi-monitor setup.
This is very well described in the Hyperland wiki. Let's install the dot files in the version 2.6 with the new installer script. I'm here on a basic Arch Linux distribution with GNOME. The first thing that I have to do is to open the console and switch to the downloads folder. Then make sure that git is installed, sudo pacman-s git. In my case, it's already installed. Let's clear the terminal and clone now the dot files. Git clone https gitlab.com slash stefan hyphen rabe slash dot files dot git. Download is done and we can cd into the dot files folder. And now we are already prepared to run the installer with dot slash install dot sh. Do we want to start the installation now? Yes, there is already a dot bash rc in the system installed and I can create a backup. Yes. Here I can select the desktop profile with the spacebar I can select. With spacebar I can deselect again, but I want to install Hyperland and Qtile and I confirm with return. Now yay will be installed. I confirm the installation of yay with yes. And now the core packages of Hyperland will be installed. Okay, we can proceed. Let's scroll up a bit. And you see that also Pyball has been now installed successfully. And we can install in the next step some wallpapers. I will download the wallpapers from my repository. I confirm this with yes. Next step is about the display manager. The Hyperland Wiki recommends to start Hyperland from TTY, from the terminal and not using a display manager. But if you have SDDM installed, then it could work. Yeah, so in a version later than 0 0.20.0. In that case, it's a GDM because I'm here on a GNOME and that's why I will now deactivate GDM with my installation script by confirming with yes. Instead of GDM, I will install my TTY login theme, so my custom TTY login issue, and also here I confirm with yes. The default keyboard layout of my dot files is US. I have a German keyboard, that's why I will change this now. Do you want to proceed with this keyboard setup? No, I want to change it. And here I can now search for D and return. And now the current selected keyboard layout is DE and I can proceed with return. And now we come to the point where the prepared dot files in the version 2.6 will be copied into the final destination into the dot files folder in your home directory. I want to install the prepared dot files now. Yes. Symbolic links are created automatically and I also want to enable the custom .bashrc file with yes. And the installation is done. Let's close the window and reboot the system. And we are here in the TTY login with my custom theme. I can log in and start Hyperland by entering Hyperland. And here we are on Hyperland. The dot files have been installed successfully and I can already start to change the screen resolution with super key command S. I open the settings application and I can switch to monitors and change the screen resolution to 1920 to 1080. Yeah, you have seen it's changed now. Okay, let's test a bit. Super key shift W and you can change the wallpaper with super key command T. You open the menu for the waybar themes. For example, I will choose now blur black. It's working. 
Let's change again the wallpaper with super key shift W. You can open the wallpaper dialog with super key command W. Yeah, and also here you can select a new wallpaper and it's working. Let's see that the W logout menu is working. Yes, it's also working. Your dot files installed successfully. Now I want to show you how you can update your existing dot files installation, for example, 2.5 or 2.5.1 to 2.6. First, I log in and I CD into the downloads folder and to the old dot files folder. And now you can update your packages with git stash git pull. So some changes have been uh, downloaded now to the dot files installation folder. And now you can start again the installation with install.sh. And I can confirm the installation will start. I can create a backup from my existing dot files folder. I will install Hyperland and Qtile. Of course, the most of the packages are already there from previous installations. The wallpaper folder is already there. The true type login, this is something that I will override. And now we come to the restore section. And in the restore section, you can restore existing configuration files from the previous installation. And this is what we can restore now. I will restore all files by selecting here all of the options, but I can also just check the all option. And then I can start the restore ring and you see here on top that some, that the files could be restored successfully. And now I can update the dot .files. The script will now copy from the prepared dot .files folder in dot .files version the new dot .files into the dot .files folder. And now it's done. Bash RC, yes, and we are ready to go. Let's give it a try and start Hyperlet. And here's Hyperlet in the new version 2.6. That's it. This is my dot .files version 2.6. I hope you have a lot of fun with that. And I hope that you are able to create a lot of new variations to give your Hyperland desktop your own personal look and feel. And feel free to share it. Yeah, If you have a GitLab or a GitHub repository, please share your variations with the community. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.